Hey guys, and welcome back to Mad About Skin. In today's video, I get to talk about one of my favorite topics in skincare, and that's sunscreen. Honestly, there's no more important step in your skincare routine than sunscreen, because it protects our skin for those UV rays all day long. I feel as consumers, we've felt a little bit let down in the past, over the past couple of years, with certain brands failing to live up to the SPF claims that they advertise, and treating us, the consumer, with less than full respect. However, I feel like we've kind of turned a corner, and this year there's been so many amazing tried, tested, and independently verified sunscreens for us to choose from. And I want to pull together the list of my absolute favourites for 2021. So sit back, relax, and let's talk the best sunscreens of 2021. Now, before we get into this, I want to issue the usual big old disclaimer to say that I've tried and tested all the products that I mentioned in today's video. As we go through, I'm going to do some swatches on my hand and talk about the consistency, the texture, and all of that. However, if you want even more detail, I've left links below to all of the products mentioned. So check those links out, see the reviews, read the full ingredients list to make sure they're compatible with your skin skin and of course find out the price point wherever you are in the world. I'm also going to leave below information on whether the sunscreens are chemical, mineral or hybrid. That's because it can be a little bit confusing for me to kind of remember and go through this as we go through the video. So if you want to know a little bit more information about that all in the description box below. Whilst you're down there don't forget to do me a huge favour and give this video a big thumbs up and a like if you're as passionate about sunscreen as I am because honestly it means a lot to me and I would love you forever. But in true Mad About Skin style let's cut the waffle and delve straight in with what I think has been my most used sunscreen of 2021 and it's this this is the make prem uv defense me fluid now so many of you probably saw this coming because i fangirled so hard about this sunscreen so much in 2021 but honestly it's because i think it's absolutely amazing this is a hybrid sunscreen and the reason i remember that is this is the newer generation of that old purely mineral sunscreen i love the old make prem one i think last year i was using that pretty much exclusively this year honestly i reached for this with a little bit of intrepidation because i thought is it going to be as good as the old formulation? Honestly, it's even better. So this is a hybrid sunscreen, so you get less white cast and ashiness on the skin than you did with the original formulation. They've also added in panthenol and ceramides to the formula, which honestly, skin calming and soothing ingredients are where it's at. And I honestly find this hydrating enough to use as a moisturizer as well as my sunscreen. Now, obviously I have super oily acne prone skin and that's not gonna be the case for drier skin types. You'll still want to use a moisturizer. But if you're super oily, this will look beautifully matte on the skin, but also hydrate and nourish at the same time. Game-changingly good. In terms of how it applies, very similar to the finish that you got with the old Make Prem sunscreen, but I'd say it's that little bit lighter. It goes on the skin with only the faintest, faintest white cast, which after you work it in for about 20 seconds, disappears like that. I'm going to call this out to say I don't think this is going to be particularly friendly to deeper, darker and richer skin tones. I've got some products that I'm coming on to later in the video that will. I think this is definitely going to be more applicable to fairer skin tones, which won't show up that ashiness or any white cast that you might get. For me... This has been my absolute favourite. It's not too badly priced either. And you get a fair amount of product in this bottle. As you can see from how grubby it is, you know I've been using this. And honestly, such, such a great product. Now, one brand which I carried forward as a holy grail from last year into this year, and I'm still absolutely loving it, is Altruist Sunscreens. This is their spray SPF 50, but they do four different ones. The face fluid is fantastic if you have oily skin and you want something super lightweight. This spray is just super convenient because you can just kind of spray and go. And this is one of the few spray sunscreens on the market that's been certified as fully benzene free. So you know if you're worried about that when reaching for a spray, this isn't going to be a problem. I love Altruist because they've published all of their data. So it's tried, tested, and independently verified, and they have the highest, literally the highest UVA protection I think I've found on the market. If you like break it down, UVB rays are the ones that burn us, UVA rays are the ones that age us, but both can cause cellular damage and cancers down the line. So it's really important that you use a broad spectrum sunscreen that protects you from UVB and UVA radiation. The SPF value on a bottle only tells you the protection you're getting against UVB radiation, not UVA, and there's different measures for the UVA. Honestly, this has the highest one that I've ever been able to find on the market, and I think that's absolutely fantastic. Also, the price point. So this one is like £7. Like £7 for all this sunscreen with that value of S guaranteed SPF and UVA protection. Like, mind blown. The face fluid is a little bit more pricey than the spray, but again, totally worth it. And they do like a really big cream, like family-sized cream bottle tub thing. And it's like a fraction of the cost of what you'd be paying even at the drugstore. So, so affordable. And I think Altruist, with their mission, is to bring affordable sun care and protection to the masses. And honestly, they're delivering that ding, ding, ding 
total 10 out of 10. Now we're going to hop from Europe, because that's a European brand, over to Asia, which is this. This is the Can Make You Mermaid Skin Gel. Now, this, I think I started really early this year. I think probably around like January time. And honestly fell in love. Now, a lot of Asian sunscreens are packed full of alcohols because, you know, with the humidity, you want a product that dries quickly like that, especially over in places like Korea. But that humidity just makes it really, really unpleasant to apply a lot of products. This so, so good because it's alcohol free. So if you're looking for a Korean sunscreen, which is alcohol free, I think this is the best on the market. It looks so beautiful on the skin. They do a white version of it, which gives a very deliberate brightening and whitening to the skin. I think that's very much for the Korean market. Here in the West, we don't really look for that from our sunscreen. So I would probably say avoid that one and just go for the original mermaid sun gel. But you put that on the skin and it disappears like butter into the skin. It is so good. It's on fragrance, but it doesn't smell chemically or anything. It smells absolutely fine and it disappears without a trace. I honestly think this is fabulous for the deeper, darker and richer skin tones alongside fairer skin tones like myself. This is just universal and I love that. It's also alcohol free. So if you're worried about drying alcohols in your sunscreen, this is a really, really good one to go for. The only thing, the only thing that starts it being a 10 out of 10 ding, ding, ding award will be the fact you don't get a whole lot of product for your money and it's a little bit up there in price. But Think of sunscreen as a treat. It's an essential, but it can also be a treat as well. And pushing the bow out to splurge on something like this will honestly make the application of your sunscreen something you actually look forward to. Now, one of the newer launches for this year, I think this literally appeared around two months ago and it's already a firm favorite of mine. This is the Face Theory Sun Fragma 50. Now, I love Face Theory. You guys know I absolutely adore Face Theory. I did a full review of them recently on the channel, which I'll leave a link to up there if you want to check it out. Face theory, gay A game, like all vegan, entirely cruelty free. The price points are really affordable and their shipping is really, really accessible. So I love face theory and I was super keen to try this one. Now I think this got mixed reviews online. A lot of people said it was quite greasy on the skin. So that kind of put me off because I have super oily and acne prone skin anyway. And so people said it left a visible white cast. I still wanted to try it because they're one of my favorite brands. And honestly, I didn't experience any of that. I definitely think this is going to be one that's more applicable to fairer skin tones. Maybe will leave a little bit of ashiness and white cast on deeper, darker and richer skin tones. So I will call that out. But again, for me, I think it worked really, really well. It goes on almost like a butter. It's really, really hydrating, which is why I think some people would often class it as oily. You just need to work in that a little bit more. But if you have very, very dry skin, this could be a holy grail for you. In terms of the appearance afterwards, if you see that, it gives a very light dewiness. It's not as dry down and matte as say the Make Prem. There is some sheen to the skin, but some people really like that. I find that you can use makeup on top of it without any problem. This one just takes a little bit more blending and working into the skin than maybe some of the other ones. In terms of how it performs on the skin, I've had no issues with it whatsoever. It hasn't broke me out. I definitely feel that it leaves my skin beautifully soft and hydrated. So again, if you're looking for a little bit of extra nourishment from your sun care product, I think this is a really, really good option. You get a fair amount of product for the price that they're offering. And whilst it's on fragrance, it doesn't have a very chemically smell, which again, I always am a bit wary of it with unfragrant sunscreens. Sometimes it can be a little bit potent on the chemical front. Not this at all. And I really, really like it. In terms of who I think this is applicable for, I think definitely, definitely more for the drier skin types. And I do think it would leave some ashiness for those with deeper, darker and richer skin tones. So I will call that out. But for dry skinned people, beautiful and a gorgeous, gorgeous extra level of hydration. Now, a sunscreen which I think is applicable to all skin types, and I'm all about that. You know, whilst I will call out who I think all these sunscreens are applicable for, I do like to offer as many universal um, products as possible. One of my favorites, hands down, this. This is the skin is a little goes a long way sun gel. I love, love, love this product so much. And I think I'm, this is a carry forward from 2020 into 2021 because I'm still using it. I must be on bottle like six by now. I love it. It's got a very similar texture than um, the Sun Fragma by Face Theory. So if you liked the sound of this and the hydration, but you want it to be applicable for deeper, darker and richer skin tones, get the skinnies. This is so, so good. So this is shea butter based, which is really, really unique. When this hit the market, there was nothing like it. Most sunscreens are formulated with a lot of water, which can dilute everything down and which gives that slippy feel that doesn't really give a lot of hydration to it. This is blended with shea butter, which means honestly, it applies to the skin with like instant hydration and nourishment. If like me, you have super oily and acne prone skin, don't use a moisturizer before this. Literally treat this as your moisturizer and your sunscreen in one. If you have drier skin, I honestly think this will probably be enough for all your hydration needs, but you'll need to see how it works with you. And you might want to use a little bit of a moisturizer before this as well. This goes onto the skin so beautifully. Now, 
They do say you can use a pea size amount. I think for me, that's what they've tested it with to guarantee that SPF value with that. I like to go a bit more lavish because I always think more is better when it comes to sunscreen and that protection. But look at how this just melts into the skin. Oh. This is so heavy duty, tried, tested and verified like all of the sunscreens I'm mentioning today and honestly blends into the skin so, so well. If you give it a work it in for about 20 seconds and you'll see, oh, it gives this beautiful veil of hydration. The skin looks dewy, it looks healthy, it looks hydrated and nourished, so, so good. Honestly, I'm using this because I love the way it feels on my skin, but actually it's the sun protection that really counts. They do it in an SPF of 30 and they also do an SPF of 50. Make sure that you read the backs of the labels of these because they have different characteristics and different formulations for each one. Um, so one's reef safe, the other isn't and all of that. So you kind of need to work that out depending on where you're going to be using it. But I think day to day, the SPF 30 sun gel for my skin is one of my absolute favorites and blends look after 20 seconds see how gorgeous that appears on the skin doesn't break you out hydrates you to the gods just such a stunning, stunning product. Now, before I draw this video to a close, there's a couple I do want to mention. First and foremost is Garnier Ombre Solaire. Now, this year was the year that Garnier went entirely cruelty free and I am all, all about that. You can get Garnier sunscreens at the drugstore or at the supermarket for literally like five pounds here in Europe. So, so affordable. You can also get them in some places in North America, which is really great. I'm glad that they're becoming more international and accessible. I adore Garnier sunscreens. They've got like 50 different ones and there's different types, different formulations, different strengths, different applications. So, so much choice. And I'm all about consumer choice, but they're all super transparent in terms of the SPF protection that they give. And they're just a really, really nice brand. Honestly, a big tick in the box for Garnier for going cruelty free. And I think we should celebrate and applaud that by, you know, taking the time out to look at some of their sunscreens. There are so many different ones out there. I'll leave a couple of my favorites linked below, but promise me, next time you're at the drugstore, at the chemist or at the supermarket, you'd see Garnier on Bricelaire sunscreens. Try them on the back of your hand because honestly the formulations are stunning and there's a little something for everyone no matter whether you want chemical mineral hybrid Garnier offers something for you and I absolutely love it now finally a lot of you might have been expecting the new Purito sunscreen to be mentioned obviously Purito kicked off the whole Korean sunscreen scandal a couple of years ago when their really famous centella green level unscented sunscreen failed its SPF testing they've relaunched a new product this year that claims to be basically exactly the same as the old one except a little bit improved but with a guaranteed SPF of 50 plus. Okay, I was super, super interested in this and I tried it out. Honestly, I was really underwhelmed. Now, I know a lot of content creators out there love it. James Welsh featured it in some of his best of 2021 video. I'll um, leave a reference to his video below if you want to check it out. He really liked it and said it went on invisible. There was no white cast. Yet, for me, when I was looking at James, who has a very similar skin type to me, I looked at that. It appears quite greasy and it also does appear to have a white cast even in that video. Now, lighting can play a bit of trickery. So, I got one and I tried it. It's the same with me. I just got a lot of greasiness for it. It felt quite heavy on the skin. And also, I didn't really like the white cast of hue that it left behind. It's not totally, it's not a total fail. And I definitely think if you liked the texture of the original Purito sunscreens, you'll like the texture of this. But for me, something just doesn't work. I preferred the originals, albeit they were failed. And you know what? It's right that they pulled them from market. I just preferred the originals. I didn't feel that this one did anything for me. I would love, love, love to know your thoughts, feelings on the Purito sunscreens below so sound off in the comment section but for me I just was a little bit underwhelmed they've got two new ones coming in the next six months and I'm going to go with an open mind maybe they'll deliver a little bit more and be a bit more impressive and um, however for me I won't personally be recommending the new Purito sunscreen wherever you are in the world guys stay safe stay well and never forget to wear your sunscreen take care bye